Our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Golden Globe nominated actor you know from shows such as Blackish. He stars in the 21st season of Law and Order, which premieres. Wally, you know what I'm going to say? Yeah, how'd you spell 20 first? <laughs> show, show everybody on the card. Twent. <laughs> Yeah. Twent. You use the old, the old English spelling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was the twent first. <laughs> oh, oh, I remember it well. Four days before Christmas it was. <laughs> he started. <laughs> he starts in the twenty-first season of Law and Order, which returns February twenty-fourth. Oh my God. <laughs> no, I know you got that one right. Which is weird. You would think it'd be the same on both. At 8 p.m. right here on NBC, let's take a look. What were you last night, 10 o'clock? At a bar in Red Hook called Ray's, talking to the bodyguard, trying to work things out. You make a deal? Mm, no, nah. he offered me 50K. Told him he can go to hell. Dumb move. Why is that? King's dead. For real? He gone? Somebody shot him. I needed that money, man. Well, unless he named you in his will, you're out of luck. <laughs> We'll be in touch. Please welcome back to the show, Anthony Anderson, everybody. <laughs> welcome back. Thank you for having me back. Now, before we get started. Yes. Before we get started. OK. You just saw in that clip uh, from the 21st season of <laughs> Law & Order. Yeah. My, my co-star, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Donovan. Donovan. A great actor. Yeah. Massachusetts guy. Yeah. He doesn't think you like him. What? Uh, because he's been trying to get on this show, and you guys keep telling him no. No, that's not true. You just said it! I said it's not true. Oh, OK, I'm just letting you know. OK. So I'm... Uh, Jeffrey, you heard it. He, he okay. does like you, and he... May not need you on the show now because I'm here. Right. But I put a plug in for you, yeah. so hopefully you can come on. Now, here. of course, mm -hmm. I'd have to say it the way I just said it, right? Yes. I mean, if I didn't like him, mm -hmm. I'm not going to admit it here. No, you're not. Right. No. So really, I mm. think the proof will be whether or not he's ever here. Only time will tell. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a cliffhanger. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> but I do. I love Jeffrey Donovan. He was fantastic. Uh, he's been fantastic in a million things, but yeah. uh, he was uh, fantastic in Fargo, uh, fantastic in Burn Notice, and I'm so happy to see the two of you together. I, we're talking back today. I'm so happy yeah. Law & Order is back. No, so, so am I, man. I, I didn't realize that people really miss the mothership. They do. Yeah, yeah, the way that they did, man. So, you know, uh, people have been stopping me on the street. It's like, hey, I can't wait! I was like, oh, yeah, season prim uh, finale of Black History. No, not that! <laughs> I was like, what, the season premiere to tell the truth? No, they're not that show! <laughs> What, me hosting the Image Awards? No! <laughs> Law and Order! I was like, oh, I forgot! Yeah. Yeah. I also cannot believe, because you were on the last two and a half seasons of, yes. of The Mothership. Mm -hmm. It's been 10 years. I can't believe it's been 10 years. Yeah, it's, 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 been, it's been a 10-year hiatus, man. And uh, the appetite for the show is, is still there, and, and that's why we're back. So I want to thank the fans for, you know, yeah. sticking around. and Fantastic. Yeah. Um, and you get to be back in New York City. And I would imagine yeah. that, uh, you know, I think that also Law & Order mm -hmm. feels like a show that New Yorkers uh, believe they have an ownership stake in. Yeah. I would imagine that when you're shooting, because, again, you're shooting in the streets, you're mm -hmm. out and about, people must yell at you guys all the time when you're shooting here. All the time, man. People try to get in the scenes when we're working on the street. People, people, you know, because we can't block off the streets in New York like we do in L.A. or any place else. Yeah. Uh, so people just walk through the crime scene. He's like, hey, man, hey, you're destroying evidence. Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they walk through really crazy. We, we, there's, a, there's a photographer here that works for the trades or whatnot, man, who got into it our very first day of our very first episode uh, with the AD because we're trying to shoot a scene and this guy just comes in with the camera and starts taking pictures as if he's a part of production. He's just some dude, for, he's just some paparazzi dude, man. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's crazy. People yell things, uh, ruin takes, walk through the yeah. takes. Everybody in New York City also thinks they're the star of their own TV show at yeah. any given moment. <laughs> so they're like, oh, you, you got a show? I got a show, buddy. <laughs> I got a show, too. Uh, this is very exciting. Now, be honest. Yeah. I know you, uh, you grew up uh, out in L.A. Uh-huh. 
Well, are you a real Rams fan? Because you were at the Super Bowl, I know. I, I, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off by saying I'm a sports fan. Okay, we appreciate your Okay, honesty. I'm a sports fan. I grew up wanting to play football for the Dallas Cowboys because okay. I thought I was going to play football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, because my dad's from Little Rock, Arkansas, that was his team. And then I got older, and I gravitated towards the Raiders. Okay. And then... I had friends and family who played in the league, and so I had a bunch of friends who played for the Rams as well. So I've always been a Rams fan. It's an L.A. team, and then they moved away to St. Louis, and they came back. Uh, so I am a Rams fan. So that's wonderful. And then yeah. you, uh, obviously, you uh, not only had tickets, but uh, yeah. there you are with Matt Stafford. Yeah, on the field. On the field after yeah, the game. Yeah, right after the game, yeah. A little, a little sweatier than him? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, because I had to... <laughs> I had to work my way to get down onto the right, field. Right, right. He was just there. You know, he was just effortless <laughs> doing his thing. That's why they're the champions, man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fitzing. Um, there you go. Uh, there you go with OBJ. I mean, these yeah, are yeah. you're the real the A-listers here. This, this is in the locker room, this right? Is the right locker after room. the game. Uh, this, uh -huh. I mean, this guy right here, Aaron Donald. Oh, right? Aaron Donald. Arguably, yeah. Arguably uh, yeah. as good as they come. Yeah. And that's Cedric, right? Cedric being a Tanner. Yeah, that's my fantastic. Boy. And um, and just like the lack of security here, you guys are fully. <laughs> I mean, because I, I was like, there's not, there are no Rams in this photo. Yeah, this yeah, no, it. no, that's my best friend, Skinny Boy, <laughs> uh, said to entertain myself in the Lombardi, man. No. That's how you know you're a real fan when they let you in the locker room <laughs> and hold a championship trophy. I'm just, I'm just not no bandwagon fan. I've been there all season. Yeah. Yeah. Was it, uh, I, I genuinely, I'm curious, well, how great is the vibe when you're around a group of uh, a gentlemen who have just won the Super Bowl? What is it like? Uh... Man, they were like kids in the candy store. I can't. Uh, you know, just to, and, and said, and my buddy Jerry and I, we were the only civilians in the locker room. Literally, after the, 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 the whistle goes off, they, they do the, the, the uh, on-field presentation of the trophy, everybody's back in the locker room, and it was just us, man, and it was just crazy uh, seeing uh, these champions, man, and, and guys that I know. Yeah. Friends of mine, you know, hoist this trophy, smoking cigars, and, and having fun. So, uh, yeah, the, 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 you can't describe. Words can't begin to describe yeah, that. Yeah, because you are really, it's that moment where you're around a forever thing, right? They're just going to be champions forever, and what a cool thing to be around. Yeah, yeah, so I want to shout out my boy, Otto Malley, for, uh, and, and Stan Kroenke, the owner of the Rams, for uh, giving me that access. I appreciate you guys, <laughs> right. I love you. Very smart. I Thank saw you. what you did there, and that was very Thank smart. You. Because they're you. watching right now being they, like, why were they in the locker yeah, room? Yeah, no, they know why I was in the locker room. <laughs> but I just want to shout them out on national television yeah, and let yeah, them yeah. know that uh, I thank you. I love you guys. Uh, hey, congratulations as well. We're talking about a new beginning with Law & Order. Uh, congratulations on Blackish. What an incredible run. Thank what you. a very special show. Thank you. And, you know, we recently... We recently had Tracy Ellis Ross here, and you know, you guys are obviously uh, such, you know, the leads of that show, and, and you play such a believable, loving couple. What was it like when you guys first met? Did you have chemistry right away? Uh, <laughs> we had chemistry like oil and water. All right, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, we, we were hosting something called the Vibe Awards like 17 years ago. Oh, that's a while. Yeah, we, we were co-hosting it together, and it was my first time really hanging out with Tracy, and, and we, at, for the first half of the show, we were great. We came back from a commercial break and we're walking downstage and you hear, Hurr! and I, I'm with the mic and I just turn and say, Tracy, did you fart? <laughs> and I see you laugh. It's funny, right? I thought it was a funny joke. We know she didn't fart. We know it was that. She hated me for 15 years. Yeah, well. <laughs> she almost didn't come in to read for the role of Rainbow because of her disdain for me. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but she came in and it was magic. And I had no idea. I had no idea until the second season that she really hated me for all those years. Really? I had no idea. She waited a full season before yeah. she came clean? Well, yeah, we were sitting there talking and we were just sharing and she was like, and she came across a picture and there's a, I wish I had known, I would have brought this picture. There's a picture of us and I'm happy after the, sh the show, after the, uh, the, show, uh, the, the, the award show, the Vibe Award show. And I'm hugging Tracy and I'm just cheesing and the look of disgust <laughs> on her face and she's holding my wrist like, get <laughs> off of me, you disgusting man. And she showed that picture and she told the story and I was like, wow, for all these years, I thought we were friends. <laughs> well, now you are again, it, it, yeah, full yeah. circle, full now circle. Now it comes full circle. Uh, and to tell the truth is back and uh, yeah. one of the greatest elements about this show, talk about real chemistry. Yeah. Your mom. Me and my mom. Uh, your mom makes a frequent, is a frequent uh, appearances on this we, show. We can't do the show without my mother. Does your mom enjoy her time on camera? Uh, she does. Uh, little known fact, 
my mother always wanted to be an actor. Okay. Yeah, she's horrible. Um, <laughs> that's why it never happened. Um, <laughs> but she, and you know, she put her dream of being an actor on hold to raise an actor, not knowing that's what she was doing. That's so for me to thing. be in the position that I am, uh, uh, that I'm in today, to allow her to blossom and, and live out her fantasy and her dreams is, is truly a blessing. And I know that she's always been intensely uh, proud of you. Is it true that she used to hand out, uh, uh, like, head signed headshots of used, you? Used to. She's, okay. She still does, Seth. Now, are these, and are these headshots that you have signed? No, Seth. Okay. Yeah. Uh, back when there was a Kinko's, <laughs> my mother would go in and forge my signature <laughs> on a headshot and go get a gross made. <laughs> if, for those of you who don't know what a gross is, that's thousands <laughs> of pictures. And so she would spend all this money to get, so she has boxes of forged <laughs> autographed pictures of me in her house that she just walks down the street. Anthony wanted you to have this. <laughs> she just hands them out to strangers, still to this day. I can't believe that she did, all you had to do was sign one once if she was taking them to Kinko's. Yeah, no, she, she did it because she, she's, mm, mm. <laughs> And then, then it, she calls me Anthony, so she didn't even write Anthony. She wrote Anthony, <laughs> Anthony Anderson. <laughs> so those are collector's items, guys. <laughs> if, you, if you have an original Anthony Anderson, that is, uh, get that on eBay. <laughs> get that on eBay today. Hey, uh, congratulations. We're so happy to have you back in New York City. Thank Thanks. you so Thanks much. Thanks for really having appreciate me, it. Pleasure. Anthony Anderson, everybody. Law & Order returns February 24th at 8 here on NBC.